This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello everyone, welcome back to our Unreal Engine Blueprints course. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna talk about booleans. And boolean is one type of the variables that we have in the programming. And we're gonna cover all the variables, but let's start by boolean. Test. You can create one by clicking this plus button and we are currently inside of the blueprint uh, specifically third person character blueprint so if i pull boolean i can get it and i can set it but as you can see if for example i create a float and set it you will see float is a number and boolean is something completely opposite so boolean is used to check if the sum action is true or false this is gonna be your biggest friend in the programming as most of the mechanics are gonna be made by that and I will demonstrate you a couple cases so let me just describe the float just uh, so you understand better float is decimal number so float can be if i um, get my details so float default value can be anything uh, any number because it accepts decimal numbers for, for a difference uh, integer doesn't integer only accept one two three four five etc so let's see let's create custom event and call it bigger number and i'm just gonna demonstrate you the power of the boolean so how how would you get um the bigger number between decimal number one and decimal number two Decimal number one is gonna be five. And decimal number two is gonna be seven. So we would use booleans for this. So decimal number one and decimal number two. We're gonna get those variables here. And I want to print string decimal number one is bigger than decimal than decimal number two but i'm gonna only print this if this is true how can i do this well their booleans come in handy because i will use a greater and I will connect decimal number one first and check if it's greater than decimal number two. And as you can see, I have return value. A red return value means it's a boolean. So I'm gonna connect it to condition, and booleans are always gonna get checked in the condition. Remember this. So this is also some type of boolean, as you can see. So here I'm gonna connect print string to true and print string which will say to false if it's not true. Number one is not bigger than decimal number two. So if I press play and I can assign this to a key true one actually since it's free and let me call this with number one so if you remember decimal number one is five decimal number two is seven so it means this is false and it's going to return us the false pin so if we go ahead if we press one as you can see it says decimal number one is not bigger than decimal number two so this is false so in the programming you're gonna find this a lot for example um, 
I will show you example of opening the doors. I will just show you uh, what booleans do. I will not uh, go over the whole process. So I'm gonna create custom event and call it opening doors. Doors. Open doors. And I want to see how can I check with the boolean if the doors are already open because I don't want to open doors if they are already open, right? I want to close them. So when we create doors in the, the Unreal Engine 5, we mostly use uh, something called timeline. And uh, I don't want to cover timeline in this episode, but basically what timeline does, it's um, it has a timeline basically which can run flow truck vector truck event truck color truck all this stuff uh, but when we work with the doors we make a flow truck and basically uh, what it does is if we have a, for example I will show here if we have some doors right uh, pivot point is not too good here so it's not gonna rotate like real doors but I just want to show you so if we want to rotate these doors, for example, if you want to open doors, you would just rotate them, right? To open them. And this value changes. So with the timeline, we are going to slowly change this value and update it every second with the update. But I don't want to bother you with all of this. I just want to show you how we can use booleans, right? This is pretty simple uh, example. So uh let's see uh first if we open the doors this is gonna be our uh, playing animation for opening the doors but we also have a reverse which we use for the doors and this is to close them but we need to be able because we cannot select it like this we can only select one and um, we need to tell the program okay the animation is done the doors are closed. Okay, so what we do here is first we create branch and how you can create branch without typing branch is by holding B and left clicking. Perfect. So now we can create new boolean. Let's just connect this. If you are starting out in Unreal Engine, you will find yourself very often forgetting about connecting the pins and you're gonna get some errors sometimes, but then in reality you're just gonna come back and you're like, you're gonna be like, oh my god, I forgot this. Okay, so, doors, door closed, and create boolean. We can also call it door open, doesn't mean anything, because there is also the not node, oh not equal, sorry, not bool, and this is basically uh, if we have um, a variable called door closed, if doors is closed without this node, if doors is closed and we turn it into condition, then it's gonna be true, doors is closed. I'll demonstrate you like. So if this is true, condition is true, it's gonna just play it. But we also have not. So if doors are closed, it's true, then we're gonna set it to not, so we're gonna set it to false. But I don't wanna bother you with this right now. We want to check if the doors is closed. But this doesn't do anything right now. By default, doors are gonna be doors are gonna be closed, right? But what if they are not closed by default? So uh, first thing uh, what we want to do here is um, sorry, what was I t talking about? Um, if they are not closed at the start, then it's a whole different pair of shoes and a little bit, little bit more advanced, but. Uh, it can be tweaked around, but um, for this tutorial, I just want to show you how to use boolean, right? Sorry for getting off track. So, doors is closed, condition. Uh, it's gonna be true. So, from the true, we're gonna open them, right? But what if the doors are closed is false, and doors are actually opened? So, this means doors are open. False means doors open, because the node is door closed. 
so door closed is false the so only thing that they can be other is open so we will reverse the animation right but uh, out of the true we need to do something because now we're gonna play it right we're gonna play open doors and then when we try to play again it's gonna still register open doors because we didn't set any boolean here so we didn't set this door closed to be if we open them to be false so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set door closed also we're gonna set it to another one and the reverse does the door closing so it's gonna be door closed again true also when you create a doors sometimes you don't want for player to be able to spam during the animations right because you can have sounds and it can be really frustrating to hear sound 20 times so what i do is i will duplicate this boolean and call it um, anim done as like animation done and i'm gonna set animation done here to be true once the timeline finished once the doors are already open again you don't have to know anything about timeline right now uh, don't bother um, i will explain it in the future videos but this is for you very uh, important to understand how boolean actually works and how you can utilize it okay so also when we work with the boolean we have end node and boolean so here we need to check if animation is done as well to open it right so the player cannot spam the doors with e or right click so how we can do this is um here before we check if the doors are closed i mean while we are checking if the doors are closed we're gonna also check if the animation is done and only if those both are true or false so um, sorry I, I created bad example sorry 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 uh, so doors are closed okay we can set animation done here like this I try to be efficient but this is a better way of explaining don't want to overcomplicate so uh, why are we doing this and this needs to be by default true because animation is done by default because doors are stationary so when we finish the timeline it's gonna set animation done but even though it's default true we are gonna uncheck it here because animation is in the progress right so this is how we are gonna um prevent player from opening the doors because um oh yeah also we need to check this before the doors closed we need to check if the animation is done and only if it's true we will play animation we will open the doors i don't know if i made it complicated i hope i didn't but if you have any questions you can ask in the comments so let's continue uh we have a lot of booleans here that decide if we can open doors or not for example maybe you want your game to have a key as well so we're gonna check if you have a key right how you would go around this is you would have boolean has key question mark and you would check if the player has a key right so uh, hold B, left click, create a branch. Has a key. By default, player is not gonna have a key. So only if the player has a key, if this is true, so if the action has a key, is it true? We're gonna open the doors. And then when you would create a key pickup, like uh, in your B blueprint key, um, all that you would be doing there is basically setting um, has a key right to true 
and then you would be open you would be able to open the doors i also have i also have a keys and door tutorial so make sure you watch it on my channel if you want but for now this is it so uh we can uh, s simply um make beautiful systems like, uh, like this with booleans only as you can see now we can read this code if we have a key and if the animation is done so if the doors are closed if this is true we're gonna open them if this if doors are closed is false we're gonna close them and once the timeline finishes animation is gonna be ticked as done also here goes another um, type of story for the animation to be rotating those those doors but now it's not important that much so yeah uh, thank you guys for watching this was a, a episode about booleans i hope you understand booleans now but if you don't make sure you post a comment and i'm gonna answer it for you so thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye